All right, DeMar DeRozan here inside the Golden One Center. DeMar, there are a lot of things to take away from the press conference that you just had, but the thing that jumps off the page for me, the amount of times the, the beam came up, the amount of times you mentioned the beam, what is it about that light in the sky that drew your attention? I mean, I think it's a dope concept for, for fan interaction. You know, um, you go out there and play, you know, usually you play a game, you win, you go in the back. But to sit out here and fans sit out here and wait and you be able to do something that the whole city, even if you didn't come to the game, be able to see like, yeah, we won tonight. You know, to me, that's 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 cool. Do you hate that when you're on the other side of it, though? Did you hate seeing that thing lit when you when it came at your expense? Yeah. And that was a thing to where I remember last time I played here, it was like it's no beam going to be lit on my watch. You know what I mean? So it's definitely cool. So I'm going to throw some some numbers at you here. Over the last three years, you've played 74 or more games minimum. You're averaging 25 points over those over those three seasons. You've had 11 straight seasons averaging 20 or more points. So the age thing, being 34 years old and was 35, that's just a number, right? What is it about you that you've been able to be so consistent and so steady throughout the entirety of your career? Um, one, I take it personal being being available. I think the best the best thing you can be is available. You know, and two, I, I really just overly take care of myself as best way I can because I, I want to play. I love I love playing basketball. You know, I play all summer for free. Why not make sure you play every single day when when it's when it's time to go to work? And it's just my love, my passion, my joy for the game that, you know, I I, I really take it personal if I miss a game. You joked earlier about the battle between yourself and De'Aaron for Clutch Player of the Year and, and that kind of stuff. Now to have both of you on the same team together, if you were from the outside looking in at the two of you and having to guard that and handle that in the fourth quarter, how do you even approach stopping the two of you in clinch time? I don't think you can, you know, because obviously we both showed it. We, you, we could do it ourselves by yourself. But now when you got, you know, two people to pick from, you know, it, it makes it a difficult task, you know, and I like, I, I can't wait till the moment come where, you, you know, I can look at him and just tell him, man, go, go take us home, you know, go win a game and vice versa, you know, and that's the beauty of being able to be with guys that can go out there and win you games, you know, you look forward to those moments. There's different levels of veteran leadership. Of course, you're looking to go out there on the floor and make a, a significant impact with the way that you play. But how about helping this the next young generation? You mentioned Keegan Murray. Keegan's a guy that I think can grow a lot from from playing with you and learning your side of the game. How much are you looking forward to working with guys like Keegan and some of the younger players? I'm looking forward to it because, you know, I, I, I really take that on – to heart when playing with young guys that you give them all the knowledge that you learn since being in the league in hopes that they do the same thing you know it this this lead is is about what you teach you know the guys that come up under you and that's what a lot of veterans did for me my first couple of years in the lead and you know I always make it a thing to make sure I, I continue that on you know that's why if you ever see me play on any team I done played on I'm, I'm so close with the young guys because I want them to be much better than me I, I want them to not make the same mistakes I made I want them to understand their preparation and understanding what it takes to be a, a true professional. Finally Damar the offseason feels long to us fans and us media members I'm sure for the players you enjoy taking that time off that you need but it feels like it's going to be a while between now and October the first time you're in this building playing for real but how much are you looking forward to that moment running out on the court the first time as a king in a, in a legit regular season NBA game? I'm looking forward to it you know it's, it's, it's definitely going to be worth the wait you know um, it's definitely going to be worth the wait you know it's, it's not much I can even say towards it you know just know during this time it's, it's the preparation that goes into now and that's going to pay off later. Thank you Damar. Thank you. Nice to meet you brother. Yeah, same here.